Five in the morning with persistent rainfall, suspended between my shadowy garments, lacking color in a passionate manner, searching for strength as a source of energy. I look at my reflection, which is whitish, illuminated with artificial light, emitting brighter than my living face with its contorted, twisting look of disgust. My reflection becomes a charming actor, pretending to be someone else to impress, as my face becomes its jeering audience, used to express contempt at the performer. The utterance of hissing is far apart, between the full moon and its trembling rain. As I breathe in through my whopping nose quickly To sniff the crack of dawn scent Of dry flowers The sheets of muscle tissue of my face hurt Yet I still make horrid faces at myself Lacking interesting physical features Wrinkling my intimidating forehead My lips look like the long thin flat part of tools while my eyebrows are its lifeless metal part, as the blade of my nostril trembles keenly, looking like an object designed for cutting. I watch my skeletal shoulders sag limply as I take hold of my tender head quickly, when I feel earnestness and real urgency miles from the humorous moments before. At once I need to correspond with myself, redirecting my face that strikes the surface by its reverse image back towards its origin, lost in my multifaceted thoughts not voiced. The dilemma is how I see my own face, by reasoning that has two alternatives, Yet revolting or lovely does not matter, when I must believe it is interesting. I imagine I am transformed by movies, by strongest faces blinking for two hours. Yet five o'clock will die without memory, shifting my face in the shadow of its space.